Is it normal to be more freaked out by the good things in life than I am by the bad things? I ask Valen, my voice small and unsure. He pulls me even closer, my chest against his, and his eyes skate around my face, looking for something. I don't know about normal, but it makes sense given the circumstances. When Talon found you and put you up in a safe place to stay, how long did it take before you trusted that situation, before you started to trust him? I mull over his question and push a wayward curl off his cheek. A couple years? Maybe more, I confess, and Valen nods like he expected that this would be my answer. And when Lakin would bring you food or help you after Beth hurt you, how long did it take before you stopped being afraid of the help? He asks me, his voice low and soft, his tender tone sinking right inside of me and messing with my soul. I never stopped being scared that Beth would find out. I was always scared for Lakin, always scared for me. You've known us for less than three months he tells me, and pauses while that sinks in. Yes, we're all tied together. No, we will never walk away, he adds, answering my unvoiced fear. If it takes you forever to learn how to trust us, then it takes forever. If you never stop being scared, that's okay, because there's six of us now, and each of us will carry the weight of that fear. We'll build the walls of trust for however long we need to. He looks down at me, his eyes swirling with strength and assurance. You are ours, and we are yours, and that's what it means to be bonded. I pull Valen's lips down to mine. I don't know a better way to respond to his beautiful words other than to show him what they mean to me, 